Time now for the Executive Edge. A new study from J.P. Morgan found that participation in the gig economy jobs uh, surged over the last five years. That includes things like driving for Uber or Lyft, delivering food for Postmates, or walking dogs for WAG. I'm not sure I knew about WAG, but uh, you probably won't be able to quit your day job because here's the problem. On average, the gig economy worker earned $828 per month. That's up from $688 in 2013, but down from just over $1,000 in 2015. The biggest payout came from users who leased something like renting out your home on Airbnb or your car on Turo. Only a, a small fraction of the uh, accounts uh, in the study uh, participated of this, uh, in this kind of service, but those who did earned an average of $2,100 hmm. uh, per month. If you look at some of those numbers, though, I mean, just the living wage in some of the cities where this is going on, uh, the idea that these can be full-time jobs. Yeah, is, although most people who I know do it do it to supplement other things that they're doing. And that and that's the issue. Yeah. In places like New York, for example, though, most Uber drivers are full-time. Are full-time. Yeah. Um, similarly, in LA and some of the major cities, there's a lot of people who've tried to take this on as a full-time full-time role. Then there's those because others it's easier to do who, that do, in it, an urban area. who do it as yeah. a supplement. Yeah. Um, the supplement obviously can, can be very helpful when, when that works. But there's a lot of people who either decide I'm going to take some more time off to try to do this and then it doesn't work. Right. It's, it's hard. Just the perils of what might be down that path. All right, United Healthcare is warning hospitals that it may drop Envision Healthcare from its network in January if the two can't reach an agreement before then. Envision is the nation's largest provider of emergency room doctors. United Health sent a letter to 250 hospitals on Friday that was obtained by CNBC. It blamed Envision's rates for driving up the cost of healthcare overall. A spokesperson for Envision says that the firm is negotiating in good faith and accused United of using misleading data and making egregious demands. Emergency room doctors contract with health insurers separately from hospitals so that if United drops Envision, doctors at an in-network hospital could actually be out of network for more than a million of United members, United members, United's members across the United States.